Hello, my name is Diane. I'm an information assistant at the Pierre Burton Library. Thanks for tuning in. The math ideas I'd like to share relate to more math games. This is a follow-up to my first math games video already posted on Bob Public Library's YouTube channel. Math games are a fun way for kids to review math concepts without adding to daily screen. <coughs> Children can also help in the preparation of these games. In this video, I will demonstrate three different math games. The first is Build a Number, which is helpful in teaching the concept of place value as well as strategy. The second is Grab and Group, which is ideal for teaching the concept of division. And the third is Money Bucket, which is helpful for teaching the adding of money amounts using Canadian coins. Let's get started. For build a number, decide on the size of the numbers to be built. For example, do you want to practice two-digit numbers, three-digit numbers, or four-digit numbers? I'm going to practice with three-digit numbers for today. On a board or piece of paper, draw a box or outline an area for each digit. Players take turns drawing a number card and placing it in a box. Use two sets of number cards if needed. The number card template can be found on our website. Players continue until each box has a digit. Players cannot move a digit once it has been placed in a box. The player with the highest number is the winner. Wow, Teddy! Great work! It looks like you've won this round. You have 789, and that's bigger than 450. Way to go! Hooray! Other variations of build a number include lowest number wins or closest to a given number wins. For grab and group, each player grabs a handful of markers. Do not count how many are grabbed. Two points are scored for dividing the markers into groups of two. Three points are scored for dividing the markers into groups of three. Four points for groups of four. Five points for groups of five. No points are scored for any markers that are left over. I have divided the markers into groups of two, so I have earned two points. Each player can record their score, and the next player has a turn to grab and group. Note that younger children will probably need to put the markers into groupings such as this, but older children can be encouraged to count the markers once they grab them and divide by two, three, four, or five using mental math. For money bucket, place a bucket about three to five feet in front of a starting line, which you can mark with some tape. Ideally, players start out with the same number and value of coins. Players toss the coins into the bucket. If a coin misses the bucket, it can't be picked up again. When all the coins have been tossed, each player adds the value of all the coins in their bucket. Oops! First place goes to the person with the highest coin value. Several rounds of the game could be played, keeping a running total. So, let's see how we did. I can't count these two, but I did get four quarters, one nickel, and one dime in the bucket, so that makes a dollar fifteen. How did you do, Teddy? I got a dollar forty-five. Wow! That means you got all of your coins in the bucket. How did you do that? Well, I have been to a lot of parties. <laughs> Here are some related items in the library collection you might want to check out. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you liked it, please click like and subscribe to Vaughn Public Libraries on social media. If you have the opportunity to try any of these math games with your child, we would love to see a picture or a video clip of their effort. Please post them to hashtag VPL at home. If you would like to see more educational STEAM videos, please check us out on our YouTube channel. You can find us by searching for Vaughn Public Libraries on YouTube. Thanks for watching and stay well.